Hello, everyone. Good evening. How are Hi. you today? I'm great. How are you? Good, very good. Hello there. Hello. How was your weekend, people? Pretty good. Thanks for asking me. Okay. Yeah, it was a nice and busy weekend. Okay. Okay, welcome one more time. Let's take the, the attendance, okay? Please respond when you hear your name. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present. Good evening. Good evening, Ada. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Andrea Isabel Siu. Not here. Uh, Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Brian Josue Marroquín. Brian, not here. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Claudia Maria Gomez. Good evening. Present Good. teacher. Good evening, Claudia. Diana Patricia Orantes. Present. Okay, welcome. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Jennifer Nouset Arevalo. Yet. Juan Antonio Brand. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Yet. Lenin Hernández Flores. I see you connected. Present, present. Your camera. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Somebody is in another class. I have class math. Oh, really? How can you be in two classes at the same time? You're very smart. <laughs> Luis Alfredo Aguilar. And here, Luis. Mary Abigail Fuentes. Yet. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present. Okay, welcome. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. I'm here. Oh, a lot of absentees today. Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Number one. Norma Lisette Crespin. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Just let me send them. Okay, Norma set. Camera, please. Hey, Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. Present. Um, Oscar Alexander Dominguez. 
I'm here, teacher. Um, Reina Isabel Romero. Hello. Okay, hello. Silvia Este Rivera. Here. Wow. Quick review. Andrea Isabel. Brian Josué. Jennifer Nusset. Catherine Marielos. Luis Alfredo. Mary Abigail. Nelson Eduardo. Noé Ezequiel. Silvia Esther. Wow. A lot. I'm here, Silvia. Oh, okay, Silvia. Okay. Let's go to our manual. This is. Okay, we're going to start. Uh, We have this reading well. I will read it only, but we, we won't we won't stay too much here. Just let me read it for you and record the pronunciation so you can practice later. Reading Joan Chen. Joan, oh, give me a sec. Okay. Reading, Joan Chen. Joan Chen is famous both in China where she grew up and in the United States where she now lives. How did Joan Chen become a famous actress in two countries? It's an interesting story. Joan Chen was born in Shanghai in 1961. When she was 14, some people from a film studio came to her school and chose, and chose her to study at the studio. She was happy about this chance, but mainly she liked the idea of getting out of school. Soon, however, she discovered that, uh, the really, that she really liked acting. At age 18, she won the Golden Rooster, China's top film award. In the late 1970s, Joan's parents, who were doctors, moved to the United States. Joan joined them when she was 20 and went to college there. Her parents hoped she would study medicine. Instead, she majored in film and later looked for work as an actress. To work in the United States, Joan had to start all over again. She told Hollywood agents that she was an actress in China, but she only got some small parts in TV shows. One day, Joan went to speak to a director who was making a movie called Taipan. The interview didn't go well. As she walked away, a man in a car noticed her. The man was Dino De Laurentiis, the film's producer. He immediately offered her a leading part. A year later, she starred in Bernardo Bertolucci's The Last Emperor and was on her way to worldwide fame. Okay. Well, 
Well, I just wanted to read it for you to record the, the pronunciation here. So you can work later uh, on these activities, okay? We need to move on. We'll continue with uh, lesson two. Caught in the rush. Oh, caught in the rush. What is that? Well, see. Let's study this uh, word power, which is about compound nouns. So compound nouns are formed uh, at least by two nouns, okay? That's why we have here two columns of noun. And the idea is to match them to form compound nouns. So there are different answers. No, no, there's no a unique way to combine them. Yeah. Well, we can make a lot of different words. This. Uh, for example, let me see. We can. Uh, I'm using another uh, PDF reader because the, the other one was too low. Okay, look at the example here. The example here, Subway Plus Entrance. It's a compound noun, subway entrance. Yeah, you have a picture here of what a subway entrance is. This is another example, a traffic light. Uh, so that is a compound noun. We have two nouns to make one. Traffic light is another one. Okay, I will give you time to write in the chat all the compound nouns that you consider you can form with these words, with words from column A and column B. Okay? So write in the chat, please, and try not uh, to not repeat. If you see one noun that is being written for someone else, Try not to do it again, not to repeat it, okay? Let's try. So I'll be reading the chat to see the compound nouns that you form. Okay, Diana Patricia says bus station. I will be writing them here. Bus station, that's one. Can chat in Zoom or WhatsApp? Uh, here in Zoom. Okay. Parking space. Okay, I'll be copying the words here. News space. Oh, I haven't heard that, but anyways. Uh, traffic jam is there. News space. I'm not sure about news. Stop sign. Yeah, okay. That's one. Taxi station. 
Um, I've heard more taxi stand, but and there's no taxi stand. I will write it here. Taxi line, 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 but we don't have line here. Taxi stop. Mm. Actually, for taxis, is taxi stand. But anyways. Ice cream. Now, well, we are using these these words. I know ice cream is one, but we are using these words only. Yeah, if we start writing any any words or any noun, subway station. Okay, maybe yeah. Bicycle bicycle lane. Okay. Right in here. What else? News jam? No. <laughs> Traffic jam, subway stop. Subway stop? Yeah, maybe. Street, there's nothing with the street. Don't repeat, don't repeat. <laughs> nothing with the street. Let's say street lane could be, yeah. Bus stop, yeah, bus. Nobody write bus stop, bus station, yeah, but bus stop. Yes, bus stop. Parking entrance could be traffic light is done. Don't repeat, don't repeat. News stand, yes, that's that's a good one. News naturally is one word, news stand. Okay, very good. Bicycle stand. Mm, maybe I don't I'm, okay good we have bus station parking space traffic jam news space I don't think so stop sign yeah taxi station maybe but taxi stop subway station bicycle line or subway stop Street lane, bus stop, parking entrance news. Okay. Street sign. Yes, yes. Street sign. There are many street signs. Okay, now look, we have these words police, telephone, fire, train. How many compound nouns can you make beginning with these words? Now, this is the first part of police, telephone, fire, train. You have to, okay, policeman. Okay. Come on, people, right. Policeman, police station. Okay. Telephone number. The telephone number. One noun, yeah. Uh, telephone station. 
train station. Yeah, train station. Not station, train, train station. Fire station, yes, fire station. Police, with police, that's all with police? Come on, you can do more. Fire truck, okay, yes, fire truck. Fireball, oh, you're thinking in the hapa. Fireball. The telephone, that's the only one. Telephone station. Mm -hmm. Police telephone. Uh, police car. Police telephone. I'm sure if that's a compound noun. Well, let me write it. Police, telephone. Ugh. Uh. Police officer, uh huh. A lot with police. Okay. Telephone book. Fireman, okay, fireman. Also firefighter. Firefighter. Okay, very good. So compound now. Well, let's continue then now with the conversation. Okay, before talking about the conversation, tell me, what do you see in the picture? Describe me the picture, please. Is two people that two people. are like angry about something. Okay. She is the furious. She is the furious. <laughs> <laughs> she looks furious. Ah, uh, you read the conversation already. Ah, <laughs> uh, and what else? It's raining. It's raining. Okay. <clears throat> what are they using to protect them from the rain? What are they An using? An umbrella. Oh, okay. An, An umbrella. A newspaper. Okay. Over there, there is a car. There is a car, yeah, over there. And where where are they? They are in bus station or bus stop. Uh, where? Oh, they are at the bus stop. Okay, very good. The bus stop so mm -hmm. Okay. Let's read the conversation. Uh, 
where is the okay is uh, the woman says is lean and the man is Sam okay I will record the audio here for you. Conversation. Why is there a why is there never a bus when you want one? Good question. There aren't enough buses on this road. Sometimes I feel like writing a letter to the paper. Good idea. You should say that we need more subway lines too. Yeah, there should be more public transportation in general. And fewer cars. There's too much traffic. Say, is that our bus coming? Yes, it is. But look, it's full. Oh, no. Let's go and get a cup of coffee. We can talk about this letter I'm going to write. Okay. Not only in El Salvador. See? Conversation. Here it is. Okay, I'll read it one more time. Why is there never a bus when you want one? Good question. There aren't enough buses on this route. Sometimes I feel like writing a letter to the paper. Good idea. You should say that we need more subway lines too. Yeah, there should be more public transportation in general. And fewer cars. There's too much traffic. Hey, is that our bus coming? Yes, it is. But look, it's full. Oh, no. Let's go and get a cup of coffee. We can talk about this later. I'm going to write. Okay. Good. Uh, I will send you to work in pairs and practice the conversation, okay? Well, actually, I will make trios to give you a chance to. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to the small groups, please, and practice the conversation. I will give you five minutes to do it, and I'm going to share the, the conversation in WhatsApp. Okay, there you have. Please try to join your groups. Don't leave your classmates alone.
Okay, people, welcome back. Let's watch a video uh, where we're going to study the count nouns and non count nouns a little bit. Okay. Let me show you this. Okay, watch this video, please. On this teacher, the audio is bad. First of all, nouns. No, yes. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So, for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that, and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars. 
But I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Um, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? count or not count <clears throat> okay so is there a lot of traffic in your city traffic is a count noun or non count noun non count nouns non count noun Right. All what right. about what about police officers? Count or non count now? Count. Count nouns. Count noun. We can count this. It is in plural also. Okay, what about buses? Is, is it count or non count now? Count noun. Count now. Yes. Count now. And pollution? Non-count now. Non-count non now. Okay. Non-count now. So, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Yes or no, people? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. There, there, is. there is. Yeah, imagine I live in Lourdes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, in Lourdes, there is a lot of traffic in Los Toros. Okay, are there enough police officers in your city or in your neighborhood? Let's talk about your neighborhood. Are there enough police officers in your neighborhood? Not enough. No. They are. There are. No, there are enough. Oh, okay. 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 Are there many buses in in your neighborhood? No. no there. Are... No, there are many no. buses. Ah, okay. Yes, and the the rush hours. Uh, that is in early in the morning, five, six, seven. There are not there are not enough buses here in Lourdes. At least in my neighborhood. They go all packed, crowded, full. Yeah. And also at night, the rush hours from five PM to eight PM. They are full. What about pollution? It's a crazy get the bus. Yeah. It's a it, crazy get the bus. Yes. In your, in your neighborhood. Yeah, it is crazy. When I, well, I used to have classes there at, at Inglés Corporativo at 6 a.m. Oh, many years ago, like four or five years ago. I used to have classes at 6 a.m. I had to take the bus at four. 
in order to be early to teach that class. In at my neighborhood, at, I have a, only one bus in one hour. One bus per hour? Yes. Wow. The, the first one is a uh, for I am the next uh, five I am in the five at seven the morning I have a uh, for a uh, thirty minutes. Wow. Yes. Um I get a work uh for for I am yeah, okay, that's terrible. Si que no, si, si no lo tomo a las cuatro. <laughs> yeah, you'll be late at, at work. I'll be late at work, yes. Okay. So there are not enough buses in your neighborhood. <laughs> okay. What about pollution, people? Is there much, too much pollution in your Neighborhood? Not much. Not much? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, is there too much pollution? Well, here in my neighborhood in Lourdes, I wouldn't say that there is too much pollution. No, there is not too much. I had a river in my Mm -hmm. Ah, well, if we talk about rivers, yeah, the only one here is contaminated, completely yes. polluted. In, in my neighborhood, I have a a trash, garbage trash, uh, como un tiradero de basura. Oh. I don't, I don't remember what do you say that the word, the meaning. Well, what could be that? <laughs> it's hard to find a word because gringos don't have that. <laughs> yes, um, uh, tal vez lo ha escuchado el tiradero de Sirama Prusia. Sirama Prusia. Oh, ¿Sí? No, no. Um, the garbage truck. Oh, the garbage Gar trucks go and, and throw the the trash. Yes, throw the trash, yes. Ooh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's... Okay, people. Well, well, this is about uh, our neighborhoods. We use uh, cow nouns, non cow nouns as well. Right. Let's see the. What else do we have here? Okay, let's take a look to the adverbs of quantity we use with this count and non-count nouns. You see with uh, with countable nouns, we can use too many. There are too many cars. Oh, this is too. There are too many cars. No, I need this. This is what I need. Oh, what's going on? Okay. No, what's going on here? I'm learning to use this new reader. I'm having... <laughs> See what I'm... 
Hmm. Why does it change? Oh, there are too many cars. No. There are too many cars. Too many is the number of quantity in this case. We can use with town nouns. Or oh, there aren't enough buses. Enough. We need more subway lines more there are there should be fewer cars okay the with uncountable nouns we can use there is too much traffic so here is a difference okay too many with countable nouns too much with uncountable nouns uh, there isn't enough. Okay, enough. We can use it with both. More. We need more public transportation. We can use it in both cases. There should be less pollution. Ah, here we don't say fewer. Here we say less. All right. So these are uh, adverbs we can use with countable nouns and with uncountable. Okay. Um, I have a question. Uh huh. What is the difference between fewer and less? Well, it's like with many and much. So one is for countable nouns and the other is for uncountable nouns. Fewer is for a countable noun. Countable. And less un uncountable nouns. Uncountable noun. nouns, yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The idea is similar, no? Okay. Then we have an exercise here to practice. Complete these statements about transportation problems. Then compare with a partner. So you have to complete, uh, there are different ways to, to complete this, right? So there's no a unique way. Depending on your situation or depending on, on your reality, so you can answer in different ways. Uh, for example, I would say here in, in my neighborhood, there are uh, not enough. There are not enough police officers. Yeah, here in my neighborhood at this. Okay, so you can Maybe in your neighborhood there are there are enough or there are too many or so I don't know. So complete the sentences on your way, please. Sorry, teacher, can you move the mouse? <laughs> I don't see the, the word. I see them. Okay. 
I see them. Thank you. Okay, I will share this in WhatsApp also. Okay, people, we are going to check that exercise tomorrow. It is time to stop tonight. Okay, complete the sentences, and we're going to check it tomorrow, okay? Have a good night, people, and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.